Crazy idea, isn't it? Our plastic turning up in places like Malaysia. It is, and it shouldn't happen. You know, we've got the skills, we've got the expertise, uh, we've got the capabilities here in Australia. We just need some end markets. We need people, we need government, we need local government, we need uh, consumers looking for and buying products that have recycled content. Just taking it out to your yellow bin and thinking that that's it, my obligation's over because I'll put it into a bin with a yellow top. That's not it. That's the, only the start. That's the very first step of plastic recycling or any recycling, cardboard or tin. And that's why it's going to landfill now because there aren't the markets in Australia. There, there isn't the, they're not the factories yet being developed and built like ours. Describe to me what you're recycling. What sort of plastic are you getting here? We're mainly doing soft films. So that's going to be things like your bread bags. It's going to be, you know, items like your shopping bags or really anything that's uh, wrapped in a plastic film. And all those plastic bags you're getting, they're very polluted. Some of them are very polluted. You know, some of them uh, come from, you know, they contain a lot of dirt. Uh, some of them contain a lot of uh, uh, breadcrumbs uh, and, and, and the like. But you've managed to deal with that in a in an environmentally friendly way, haven't you? We've developed a dry cleaning process. So rather than using water, because water then creates a whole range of other problems, removing all that contamination with heat and with friction. And so therefore we're not using any water in our process at all. So we're not creating any of those environmental problems. The recycling bin on the curbside, it's, it's a bit of an urban myth, isn't it? Well, re recycling, what we've been told for the last 20 years is that, um, you know, to, to clean up the material, to sort the material, the last touch, put it in the right bin and then put it out on the street and then it was somebody else's the next step. We're throwing the ball to the, to the next party. The waste industry is really good at transporting. The waste industry is really good at bailing and they've been really good at shipping it overseas. What we haven't been good is taking that next step on shore, on here in, in, in Australia. And I think most people in Australia feel lied to. I think they feel disappointed. Um, 90 plus percent of people do want to recycle and they need to be enabled to be able to do that. That's why you know, we need more businesses like Plastic Forest to be able to make more products so that we can you know, keep the plastic as plastic and not just sort of put it in a hole in the ground. Without businesses like yours, we're being lied to. Yes. Yep. It's just been, go it's just been going overseas. And then what, the, the stuff they don't want, then it ends up in the rivers out the back door and then it ends up out in the, out in the ocean. And that's the sad fact. Plastic was developed only a lifetime ago, 80 years, 9 billion tonnes of it still on the planet. Hello, I'm Liam Bartlett. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.